Hey, am I speaking with a Miss uh, Rishana Bennett? My name is Agent Ratliff with Occupational Cares Diversity Affairs, ID number 33712. And Miss Bennett, I was just calling to go over some conduct and behavior skills in the workplace, along with some complaints, if you had a moment. But conduct and behavior? Yes, along with some complaints. Just think of this as a report card. As I'm looking at your file right now, it seems like you're doing pretty good on attendance and things like that. We just want to go over the complaints and the conduct. And what we like to do, Miss Ben, is we like to remain unbiased in these situations before we make a determining factor of who we want to let go or issue any fines to. Who are you with? Who is this? My name is Agent Ratliff again, and I'm with uh, Occupational Cares Diversity Affairs, ID number 33712. And like I said, you're not in trouble or anything. We just want to get your side of the story. We want to go over a few things with you. Because I'm looking at your profile. You seem like you're, you're a pretty dedicated and committed employee. You are a operations manager at Pepsi, correct? Yes. Okay, okay. So, yes. I got the right person. So, if, he, if, I, have, if I can have a, a moment... Just to go over these with you, get your side of the story, then I'll be out of your hair. I just don't, what is this for? Uh, this is the go over. Like I said, we're we're OCDA. We're a company entrusted by the Environmental Work Unit, and we're just here to go over some conduct codes and go over some complaints with you get your side of the story like like i said miss ben we we remain unbiased in these situations before we make a determining factor who we want to let go the issue when he finds to hmm okay 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 so like i said i just want to go over these complaints and these complaints are totally anonymous but I can read them off to you verbatim. So right here, are you are you are you with me? I'm here. Okay, so you. Okay, you with me? I got this. Okay, okay, I can hear you now. Miss Bennett? Go ahead, I'm with her. Okay, so right here it says Oh, they made it easy for us. They actually numbered it. One, she's 5'1 and weighs about 200 pounds. Two, built like a barrel. Oh. Flat, flat. Yeah, these are the complaints, ma'am. Like I said, I have to read them verbatim, but they're anonymous. So, from the top. One. Sorry, I had dropped the paper. I had to... One, she's 5'1 and weighs about 200 pounds. Two, built like a barrel, flat ass. Three, fat and bad built, but tries to go after niggas out of her league. Four. Hold on, hold on. Who said that? <sighs> Once again, Miss Bennett, these complaints are totally anonymous, but as you can see, I can read them out to you verbatim. Now, let me get through them from the top. Get through them. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, shit. Okay. Sorry, I had to take a call. Hold on. Okay. Because this is kind of, I hate that I had, I, sometimes I hate my job, Miss Bennett. Sometimes I hate that I have to read these verbatim. Sorry. But, uh, from the top. One. She's five one. And weighs about 200 pounds. Two. Built like a barrel. Flat ass. 
Three. Fat and bad built, but tries to go at the niggas out of her league. Four. Tries to shit on niggas. Time out. Tries to shit on niggas that's built similar to her. Got a piss poor attitude and her vocabulary is trashy as fuck. This bitch suck oh. ass. Uh, then it says right here, six. We really want this hoe to get her weather together and stop messing with niggas that actually exercise and value health. Okay, so Miss Bennett. Miss Bennett. What? <laughs> What's your What's your side of the story? Like, what's going on inside the workplace? Cause I'm. I, I, I have no issues with my employees. I have family members and they that. Know they can come to me if they need to talk. So I don't understand the language or like the wording they're using because none of them will talk to me like that. Like, they just don't want to talk. Let me let me let me let me tell you what I just told somebody else. See, the world we live in today, we get more pleasure from talking behind people back. And there's truth when you're talking behind somebody back. So that's why they ain't saying it to your face. They don't want to come to you about this. Don't nobody want to come to you and tell you that you 5'1 and weigh 200 pounds. Don't nobody want to come to you and tell you to stop trying to go after niggas that's out of your league. Don't nobody want to come to you and tell you to stop trying to shit on niggas that's built like you. Don't nobody want to come to you and tell you to stop messing with niggas that actually exercise and value health. Can't nobody come to you and tell you that. Because they say you got a piss poor attitude and your vocabulary trashy as fuck. So how can people come to you and, and, and explain to you uh, 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 how they feel about you? They, what they going to do? They going to... What? No, time out. Time out. Never had an issue or an issue with me. Apparently, they... Anything, or even use this language me. So I'm not sure where this is coming from. Apparently, but, they do feel like this about you. How I know. No, they don't. So you not five one. You don't know. Me and the rest is true, exactly. That pause let me know right there that you five one, and the rest of these complaints is true. Cause once I read them, they become true, and these people ain't gonna lie on you. Nah, 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 nah. nah. Let me go back to number. Let me go back to number four. It say right. You try to. No, this is a real company. These are real. That bit hung up. She knows she filed one. So all the other shit had to be true. We finna call her back because she don't hang up on Ratliff. I always want to go after niggas that's out of your league. But the niggas who standing right next to you that's built like you, you shit on them. Nah, she finna have, nah, hell nah. Yeah, she finna hear this. Okay, and let me say one more thing because this right here don't sit well with me, and I just had a, uh, a, a, a talk with my colleagues. And right here, this complaint where it says that uh, uh, you always going after men that's out of your league, but you like the shit on the men that's built similar to you, that's going through the same thing as you. That's not right. So let's let's have a discussion about that. Why do you feel There's that? No, 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 time There's out, time no out, time out, time out. I would what? say all of my employees, I have no issues with my employees, and they have no with me. Why you feel like you? Why you feel? Why you feel like healthy men gonna be attracted to you when you not healthy? I am healthy. How do you know what I am? Because they said it on these complaints, and they not lying. And See, it's like it's like you got some type of you don't delu. Know me. You don't know me. No, it's I do know you. It's like you got some type of delusional illusion about men. Delusional. Yeah, delusional illusion about men. You don't take care of yourself, but you want all the men that take care of themselves. I'm not worried about men when I'm at work. I'm worried about my job and my employees. But all the men, but all the men, but all the men, you built like you ignoring them. Ain't even looking, ain't even looking their way. I'm not doing this. I'm not going to do this because this, this is a joke. I don't like that. Then they say your vocabulary is trashy as fuck. Okay. That's why, that's why you repeated the word delusional because you didn't know what it meant. 
Now it's all making sense. That's how I know these complaints is true. You ain't know what delusion I mean. I don't know what you think you're doing or what you're doing, playing on my phone. But all of this is unprofessional. The wording you're using, the everything, I, I don't want nothing to do with it. I know damn well. These old ones are hanging up. You delusional. You got a delusional illusion about yourself. 